in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed and God has proven again that he's reliable. Hallelujah. That he can be trusted. If you can trust a man that is mundane and can change in a moment. I can like you today and hate you tomorrow. And if you ask me why, I will say it's my choice. Is that true? I can hate you tomorrow and like you the next tomorrow. When you put your arm, your strength on men, it is so unreliable. The best of any man can change overnight. I can promise to give you more and say I can't remember. And just because my memory failed me, you will be punished. But the Bible says this word has been tried seven times. Listen carefully. It's not just a book that makes people spiritual. It's more than that. This is a compendium of the mind of Christ listen carefully the bible is a compendium of the ways of god this is the ancient secret of an unbeatable life the ancient secret behind strange results those who can be foolish enough foolish enough childlike enough brothers and sisters this is the book that turns a poor man into levels of stupendous wealth this is the book that turns a sinner and makes he a man of God out of him. Listen to me. This is the book that turns a man who cannot pay a rent of 10,000 to now own an estate. This is a book that can make a confused young man not knowing what to do with his life to become one who will govern kings and nations. This book has led many. We are not the first to hold it. There are many ancient hands that held this book. They were stupid enough to read everything there. And they believed God. They believed him. That's the point. It's not just reading it. They saw it. And they believed. And God performed wonders in and through their life. Today we have come in the midst of history. We're not starting anything new. We just have followed them who through faith and patience. When they taught us, they taught us to trust the word. And so we believe the word. Listen, it may not yet look like everything is appearing, but let me tell you the truth. Your destiny is too small to make the word of God fail for the first time. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. God used this word to humble the pride of wicked kings who were, their confidence were built upon divinations that had been tried for a long time. Yet the word of God brought them to their knees. If I trust any other thing in life and I do not trust the word of God, I'm a foolish man. Praise the Lord. This is the secret. I have a name that I call the Bible. I don't call it the Bible. It is my roadmap to accessing the mysteries of the kingdom. I study the Bible like an archaeologist, like someone who has lost a treasure and is looking for it. I keep saying it that the secret to the future is in the past. When you can go behind, the ancient part is not the part of a nomination. The ancient part is a part where you open. What did Jacob see? What did the psalmist see? And if the spirit of revelation opens your eyes to see it, ah! Brothers and sisters, you create your own reality and walk in it as if Satan does not exist. This is what makes those who don't understand these mysteries. They think that, you know, 
when men of God talk like this, they are arrogant. Your reality is based on what your eyes have seen. You must believe this. Your reality is based on what your eyes have seen. It is important for you to understand. Please let me have your attention. It is very important. There is nothing that is built by magic. There is nothing that is built by gimmicks. This is it. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever see mm. your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever sing your praise I will sing I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing. I will sing, I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing. Listen. If I ask you to stand up now and I tell you what is the basis of your confidence? Somebody will say my father is coming out for election and some person in presidency promised him that this turn is his turn to eat. That is complete nonsense. It's human beings that vote somebody in and out and they can change their minds overnight. Another person will say his brother is the manager of XYZ and because he's sitting on money he will bless him hear what the Bible says he says for by the arm of flesh did you hear that by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail no man prevail do you know I have become addicted to this book it's not because I'm a preacher Jesus gave a parable I did not understand for many years. He said, the kingdom is like a man who is looking for a treasure. The treasure is missing and then he lights a candle and goes around the room. The treasure is not the word. The treasure is the result you are looking for. But he tells you how to look for it. You light the candle. You carry an empty candle, you, you keep roaming around. An empty candle is... A Bible you brought from Zondavan and you drop. That's an empty candle. But when the illumination of the spirit is upon it, you carry it and move around. When you find it, it comes life to you. Then you communicate a dimension of results that will dumbfound principalities and powers. Let me tell you, don't ever doubt a man whose confidence is based on something he has caught in the word. You will be angry forever. You will dream forever. Anything that is not a derivative of the word, I don't trust it because I don't have control over it. The Bible says he upholds all things. That includes my destiny. He upholds all things by the word of his power. We need to be a confident people. Listen, not just believers, confident people. A depth of conviction and persuasion that is brought about by this. The illumination of the spirit upon this word so you search for it crime in scriptures is not just it's not the key to understand the word that's not just how it works many of us have memory of scripture which is not bad in itself except for the fact that it has no ability to empower you just like that it's like carrying granite seed and chucking it in your pocket do you have a harvest will it grow sir <clears throat> The word is the seed. That's what Jesus said. The soil is your heart. 
The rain is the Holy Spirit. You can plant a seed and dry season will kill it into nothing. The seed is not wrong, but the anointing. You see that? The rain that comes upon the seed. Brothers and sisters, please, I want you to pay attention. For every time God gives us the privilege to converge like this, it is not the advancement of a man's agenda. It is the progression of your accessing the mysteries that will cause you to command dominion. Let me tell you something. There is a dimension of light that we are going to project to the world that will dumbfound principalities and powers. Yes. A dimension of light. Young people will rise up with a level of strange prosperity that people will say, no, no, no. Are these guys scammers? Are they fraudsters? We say, no. We found an ancient secret that can allow men to be blessed and focus on their assignment. You see that? You will rise with a strange level of the anointing that will make even herbalists to wonder and say, I'm a herbalist, but this is strange. It will happen. I am an archaeologist. I search it. I don't read the Bible to finish it. I read the Bible to find <laughs> what I'm looking for. And sometimes you can find one verse and stay there. That's where the goal is. So if you are, all you are doing is just to finish. I read Psalms 5 today. You came close to the gold mine. And carelessness took you away. And you go somewhere. It is scripture. But it's not the word of God. The word of God is that part of scripture that gives you life. So many people brag religiously. I started studying the Bible by January and now I'm in Revelations 22. Call the person and say, how many treasures did you find? Even one. One! The only thing they find is an accolade that I searched the scripture. But someone will come with an honest heart and open one scripture. You heard what that gentleman said? He used the way, the truth, the life. Alone. Imagine what else we can find. I've shared with you my vision years ago when I was caught up in the spirit and I saw a big gate and that gate was made of small, small doors. You know, they were opening and closing and light was emitting from every one of them. And then I kept looking and I noticed it was zoomed to me and I saw scripture written on every door. And the doors were opening and closing and I was asking the Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord said, every time you catch a revelation, the light component that is the performer of that revelation anything you claim you have caught and you cannot bring it to the scene is a lie you have not gotten it yet please pray and say lord by your mercy open my eyes today this kind of prayer you must add the mercy of god in it because what else will you say by what lord i cry by your mercy Open my eyes to see. Sakatos kaparunda zigata paliata. You have spoken great things, but until my eyes see it, there is no possession. It says, as far as your eyes can see, are we praying? Shabratuka soda balakata frateke shibariada balada boko subaj. Open my eyes. Show me where the anointing for the next level is. Open my eyes. Show me where the key to my lifting is. Open my eyes. Show me where the river is in the desert. Open my eyes. Oh God, many people will be hearing many things, but show me my own. And the word of the Lord came. And the word of the Lord came. The word of the Lord has always been around. The word of the Lord came. Let my word come. The word of the Lord came. Hallelujah. Listen, let me teach you something about the mercy of God. Every time you want to access the spirit of revelation, 
ask the Lord to release it by his mercy there is no known formula I know for receiving the spirit of revelation it is by the mercy and the grace of God that the eyes of a man be open in scripture the eyes of a man was open when he said thou son of David have He didn't say, thou son of David, don't pass me by. He would have remained there crying till Jesus. That was the last time Jesus would pass Jericho. But I saw a relationship between the mercy of God and the spirit of revelation. Is thou son of David, will I remain blind like this forever? Have. He never said, I want to walk. The walking is a subset of the mercy when illumination come. Oh, I want to see. I want. Mm -mm. Thou son of David, have mercy. It's a language God cannot pass by. No matter what you know to do at once, God hears mercy. He remembers the blood and he turns. What should I do for you? You didn't call me correctly. Oh, I hope you know. Yes, that's why I said mercy. I don't even know your name. I said son of David. Whether you are carpenter or Jesus, I added mercy to my confusion. Have mercy on me. That's how you can see someone will be bragging around. I went to theological school and teaching nonsense and jargons. And someone will sit down and say, Lord, I came from the village. There was no light in our community. But Lord, I know that I've been seeing myself in dreams, ministering and raising the, the dead and watches. Can you open my eyes by your mercy and the spirit of revelation comes? Boom. One scripture. He may not be able to quote everything. One scripture. And with that scripture, you will do exploits. I like you to prepare your spirit because what I want to share with you tonight will bless you in no small way. People come to the house of God for many years, Jimmy, and you find out that they are not growing. How do you grow? There are two indices for growth. It's no confusion. Number one is the degree to which you are conforming experientially to the image of Christ. Number two, your comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. If you are not understanding the precepts of the kingdom, you are not growing, sir. Whether they ordain you pastor, apostle, deacon, once you are not accessing the mystery of the kingdom, you are not growing. It's as simple as that. Because that's how we reign in this kingdom. On the strength of mysteries. What do you know now that took away fear from you? The fear you had in January. What entered you that can give you confidence to look at it and say, no way, not again. If your fear of January is still your fear of today, you made the word of God unfruitful in your life. Someone entered this year wondering, and right now the person is just laughing at the same situation as they say that no 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 that one that was that was last year's challenge you won't talk that nonsense with me again because you know what to do not bold face for nothing for jesus himself knew what to do my assignment in this ministry is that by the privilege of god's election and grace i will continue to show you what to do the result you desire versus the mystery that connects it. That's my assignment. To continue to show you that the kingdom is a compendium of possibilities. But accessing them are predicated upon your knowledge of the mystery allocated for that result. Not the mystery available. The mystery that is allocated. You want to be blessed. Anything in the Bible will not bless you anyway. You have to find the one that is allocated for you. You don't put rice in a pot and when it boils, you lift it up and see beans. You will see food, but not beans. If it's beans you want to cook, you better find out one, where to get beans, two, how to cook it. Correct? So anything in the kingdom is not what you are looking for. There are people who are blessed financially, but this sickness will kill you. You go to the hospital and treat it, it will refuse to come. Brothers and sisters, there is an allocation. You have to find us. There are pastors who are so anointed. They can raise the dead. But you, they will never have up to 30 members. There is a mystery that keeps men. People are not stupid to just come and sit down. Sit outside. Endure all kinds of things. No sir. My assignment. 
is that by the agency of the spirit that I communicate to you the mysteries. When you gather them together like this, it's like a chain that connects you and heaven. When you move in life, the moment a challenge comes, you smile because you understand the key to address it. Fear and ignorance and pain is a revelation of your bankruptcy of the understanding of the mystery that is tied to a result you are looking for. There are things I used to fear years ago. I don't fear them again. I didn't cast out the spirit of fear. Understanding took me out of that realm. You see that? Yes. So please, I want us to focus. When you see us cry for the spirit of understanding, this thing is not just, even this anointing, because you see many people, especially ministers, this is what we are all looking for. Anointing. Anointing is not just a generic oil that comes on your head. This anointing you see has dynamics. It doesn't just work anyhow. How many people are you going to lay hands on on your life? Won't it kill you? There is a system. There are many means of transportation. There is bicycle. There is jet. If you want to arrive Lagos with a bicycle, you may die before you arrive there. That's how the dispensing of the anointing is. You will meet people. There are it, knowing the vehicle is not just enough. You must understand the system of helping it reach people. There's somebody seated outside, another overflow. There's somebody online in another nation. How do you, if all you know is just to lay hands on people, how do you bless those who are far? Please pray before I start teaching in one minute and say, Lord, change my level. Insist, please pray. Change my level. Paul said, I went up by revelation. Show me something. Lord, where I am is a revelation of my limited knowledge. I take responsibility and I admit, open my eyes. Satan can't be that powerful. There's something I am not seeing. Lord, I've been falling under the anointing, but that anointing has not healed one sick body. There is something I'm not getting. I have been sowing seeds, but a harvest has not been coming. What is blocking it? What more do I need to know? Hallelujah. Please sit down. <laughs> mm. The Bible says, when you read Ephesians chapter 4 verse 18, it says, having their understanding darkened. Paul is teaching here. And then he says, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Ignorance alienates a man from the life of God. The experience of that Zoe life. Are we together now? That their understanding is darkened. That's the issue. Then it says that as a result of that darkened understanding, they are being alienated from the experience of the kingdom. So they may have semblance of what should be, but never enter into the experience of it. Most people are not in ignorance of what their life should be. They know what they should become. But the power to make it happen, that is a derivative of light. You know you should be more anointed than now. You know you should be more prosperous. But what is the limitation? It says, haven't their understanding darkened? And then alienated from the life of God on the strength of the ignorance that is in them. I came angry in my spirit. Oh. We'll, be, we'll pray. I trust God for grace. So that we'll finish fast and just have some few minutes to pray. 1 Peter 5.10 Just one scripture. There is a level of rest. I began to perceive in my spirit that many of us were ordained by God to enter this year. That we have not entered. And my assignment is to insist that these two months left, we must force something to happen. 
the bible says but the god of all grace listen who had called us into eternal glory by jesus christ after you have suffered the word suffered there is endured endured with certain things a while what will he do make you perfect uh-huh establish you uh-huh strengthen you uh-huh settle you give you stability these four things must happen to someone's life between this november and december listen i really want you to believe me because believers are the ones who are possessors are we together it says after you have and you have put up with certain things for a while put up with poverty for a while put up with pain for a while put up with disappointment listen it can't be forever no sir a book has many pages when you stay on one page forever it's a course after you have suffered a while the bible says weeping and just for a night if you cry to the next morning cry in the afternoon cry till another night that crying has violated god's ordinances he allows people to only weep in the night after you have suffered for a while make you perfect establish you establish you then he says strengthen you all kinds of might financial might intellectual might then he says settle you settle you you are unmovable you have gotten to a level where you are not afraid uh -uh. the lord declared that this is a year of triumph i believe this so when god gave me this scripture it entered my spirit and the lord began to communicate to me and say son you have not hit my expectation for the year this triumph there is there is something there is there is a dimension of testimony that is not yet rampant here and there like rain people are getting it but it is in a ministry of thousands of people if only four people testify as a man of god not failed four over thousands is zero round it up is zero so there is a dimension the services that remain for this year will be very strangely prophetic services i tell you there are services meant at pushing people to force the reality of this world because brothers and sisters god cannot lie god cannot lie god cannot lie god cannot lie so the lord showed me this scripture and it really really blessed me tonight i'm going to teach very briefly on the mystery of divine intervention the mystery of divine intervention what is the spiritual secret behind calling god in the time of trouble and let him show up and bail you out what is the system in the kingdom that has been built where men when you need the help of god when your life is faced with an emergency and you need to call heaven brothers and sisters there are emergencies in our lives that require access to this system the mystery of divine intervention the bible is full of near near shame experiences where god got up showed up for individuals showed up for the nation of israel god turned the lives of people around overnight let me show you one scripture you will want to know second peter chapter 2 verse 9 learn this scripture add it to your spiritual arsenals you will need it i guarantee you second peter chapter 2 verse 9 i want us to run uh, tonight read it with me please one two read the lord knoweth how to deliver the godly from temptation or oppression or calamities and to reserve the unjust unto the day the lord knows how to exchange experiences that he looks as child and says for my name say come promise that he looks at this person who calls upon his name and watches that this guy is getting into trouble he says god knows how to exchange people and carry this person out and drop the wicked for the punishment that is allocated for the righteous is called intervention 
there is a system in God listen please there is a system in God where God can plug men out of the fire remember the story of the three Hebrew boys the Bible says they found the furnace seven times that those who threw them inside the furnace listen they threw them inside the furnace and the heat killed them and when four of them were inside the king was not a believer but the king had had strange encounters and he saw a face in that fire he had seen in his dream he said i i look and i see four people and the appearance of the fourth is like the son of god and the bible says they came out they could not even smell fire what of daniel that was thrown in the den of the lions because of his prayer life the bible says the lions were at peace with him and when he came out and they threw those other fellows the lions just devoured them brothers and sisters there is a mystery there is a hidden code of operation allocated to the saints in light to help them deliver them out of all the troubles and the vicissitudes that satan puts because you see your destiny is a function of many things and sadly it includes the lives of others and that also includes their carelessness there are times you will get into things you necessarily did not cause but you will suffer the consequence if you don't know how to exempt yourself this is like an extension of the mystery of exemption the mystery of divine intervention where men called upon God and God showed up and turned the lives of nations around turned the lives of individuals around there is a way you call upon God for your personal prayer life but brothers and sisters there is a way you call upon God to intervene on a matter that if he does not intervene sometimes it may be that you are finished There was a time death was killing people in Israel. Killing people. There was a way they called on God. Divine intervention is real. All through scripture, we see that God is able to arise. Psalms 102 verse 13. It says, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time in god's calendar there is a time oh there is a time to favor joshua selman there is a time to lift me and you see the bible says in amos chapter 3 verse 9 that god does not do anything but to reveal his secret to his servants the prophets so when god is about to do something in a territory he captures his thoughts in words in in similitudes in in all kinds of expressions communicates it to his servants to deliver to the people so that their faith will be connected to what he wants to do in the season and god has declared that it's a season of triumph I believe God it's not just a cliche that a man of God comes to move ministry forward no sir thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time the time to favor her the time to lift her the time to honor her for God's sake the time to wipe her tears the time for Zion to say I am also the bride of a good man he says the time has come thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her yea the set time is come many people want intervention intervention is the supernatural is a supernatural visitation over a man's situation that brings a radical transformation supernatural visitation of God supernatural visitation of God all of a sudden God steps in overnight and changes a man's situation overnight he says have you heard this proverb that a city was born in one day he said but as soon as Zion travails in one day she shall put forth a son why do we need divine intervention because of our imperfection as human beings the first reason that necessitates divine intervention is that we are inaccurate as human beings 
our inaccuracy as human beings, inaccuracy of understanding and obeying the precepts of God will necessitate God to create that provision. Are we together? If a young man drinks and smokes and gets to a point where he now repents when his liver is quarter to die. He has repented, but the liver is still going to kill him. That gentleman doesn't just need a healing. He needs a divine intervention. When somebody repents in the prison and is supposed to say 80 years and he went there at 40, you see that he's going to die in the prison? He needs divine intervention. He's born again, but he's in the prison. Our families are in desperate need for divine intervention. Is that true? Hmm. Father not working, mother not working, 13 children, 10 of them not working. All of them graduates. Haba. There is need for a strange intervention. How about human agents? That will sit on your destiny and vow and say for as long as we are here we fraternize with darkness to jeopardize your confidence about God I wish there was no such reality but brothers and sisters the Bible did not leave us in the dark as to the wickedness that lies in our world I was talking with a young man on phone who sent me a text I think they worship one kind of idol and the father has been calling him. I should come back. There's something he's supposed to do. The guy said he's not coming back. After graduating from school, they are asking you to come. They will buff you, put something on your head like a cap, and one kind of ritual like this. After that, they will say you can go. The guy said he's not coming. And the man told him that that thing, whatever it is, will pursue him and look for him. His blood father, the boy was speaking to me. And I said, let me tell you, my brother, if you go there and carry yourself and go and sit down under that whatever it is and they bath you with the blood of an animal and do those rituals, uh -uh, God is able. Rather than wasting your time paying transport, use the money and buy a book that reveals a mystery that you, you keep the enemy at bay because what that shrine is trying to prevent him from will look for him if he doesn't have the mystery allocated. He can make bold face and say, I won't go. But you will soon find out that it will happen to him. First child, dull. Second child, very dull. Third child, very dull. And the person says, I'm brilliant. My wife is brilliant. And he sees that thing in a dream. He says, I, I told you, 10 years ago, you would have rescued your children. See, don't reject darkness without having the light component. Don't just say, I reject darkness. Eh, every shine in my village, God forbid. It's a joke. You must have the light component. Otherwise, I tell you to haunt you and tear you into pieces. There are forces of darkness. We need divine intervention because of our inaccuracy. We need the intervention because, listen, the pace at which darkness attempts to destroy us versus our level of spiritual growth will require divine intervention at some point. Now, look at me. Listen, let me tell you something. In the next 10 years, there are things that I will know then that I don't know now. But Satan is plotting all kinds of schemes over my life based on the knowledge I need to know 10 years to come. I need intervention by the mercy of God to give me victory before I enter that level of understanding. If my victory is purely left to my level of understanding alone, it means that I will be punished on many grounds before I come into that knowledge. You need divine intervention. Is God speaking to someone here? Let me tell you this. I am very outspoken about results. I'm not a man of God that will lie to you and say results don't matter. It's a lie. It's a lie. If results don't matter, why do you go to work? Why do you wait for salary at the end of the month? Is that true? Results matter to God, matter to the devil, matters to everybody on earth. Whether we agree or not. 
results are consolations to your Christian experience. Whilst it is true that we do not serve God just for results, but brothers and sisters, let me tell you, even Jesus saw a fig tree that was receiving nourishment from the principle he programmed in the earth and was not yielding the result. He caused it in annoyance. So God wants us to bear fruit. But there are keys that we must understand. Please look up. There are many of us here and there are many of our family members here had they known that there is a mystery that controls divine intervention many tragedies we now weep over would not have happened listen carefully are we together now yes somebody looked at you and vowed and said pastor alpha i would destroy you we said no problem you wouldn't destroy me but you did not understand the component the revelation component and eventually it caught up with you I prayed for a lady. She probably may be following now online. Married, loved her husband. All of a sudden, the husband just changed and became a, a very, very funny man. Doesn't even stay in the same room with her and all of that. And she, she could not take it again and she called me. You know, I prayed with that lady and just this morning she sent me a text. She said she woke up in the morning and just saw her husband sitting by her bed something brought him listen listen this is what I, you see men are slaves to the mysteries that control them you can program things like a bomb in the spirit and just go and watch it the same way i can put a bomb and i program blow by eight o'clock and then i just move somewhere and i'm laughing at everybody around here because it must blow except another agency superimposes it this is how you can program results in the realm of the spirit and watch like a movie as they unfold in the earth realm using things you call circumstances coincidences but you know that they are intentional results that were programmed by mysteries this is how i want your life to be that you can sit down and program growth program speed program breakthrough and watch everything like a movie and day after day you watch someone get up and say, sorry, Elijah, I, I, I hope this is a new keyboard I bought for you. And you laugh. Something was programmed. Your house that has been 10 years refused to be completed. You program something by understanding. And someone comes to say, ah, Sam, I don't know. Do you mind me complete this house? And you will say yes because it was intentionally done. You don't say, I'm surprised you are coming. I'm not surprised. You were called. Are we together? That's why when people die in the villages, the Habalis don't cry. Have you ever seen them crying? No. Something they programmed. They program somebody from London and tell him where to come and die. When he dies, other people are crying and the guy says, well, it's just to let you know that we are not children. You can program things. From the foundations of the earth, some things were programmed. And the intelligence of the father he watched everything unfold through redemption no power could stop it satan tried he entered he went when jesus was fasting now came and entered peter now came and entered when he entered judas i'm sure satan thought he was smart paul was watching it like a movie and saying yeah yeah had they known this so this was the caricature that god was making out of satan he thought he was smart but he was god was using him as a slave because you see when you kill a man according to scripture his blood will haunt you so god made sure it was satan that killed jesus Yeah. go and read your bible blood is a mystery it remains on the head of the killer forever paul was watching this whether he was in a hole in a cave in prison i don't know but paul was saying ah, ah. satan couldn't you see jesus casted you out of peter and left you in judas you didn't ask why you just continued until you became a fool that's the reason why when we invoke the blood something really happens it happens to whoever was the killer when Cain killed Abel blood cried against him cried against him
I need divine intervention. You need divine intervention. Samaria needed divine intervention. Please sit down. They got to a point. Scripture says, come. That they got to a point where women. Can you imagine brothers and sisters? That you get to a point where you are not just eating goats. You are not just eating clothes. Women. You have your child. I'm telling you. There is a strange grace this year. For fruitfulness and miracles in this ministry. We have seen very dramatic manifestations and, and all of that. There are mothers all around with their children moving right and center. Now imagine Pastor Alphas, that little baby. Imagine Annie holding this her child and saying, look, there is so much poverty. Pastor Alpha travels somewhere to go and look for food and she liasses with a Jimmy's wife. Two of them, they carry Jael and carry David. And two of them stand and agree. And they say, we are eating Jael this night. You eat it. What sort of hunger makes you eat a whole human being? Now watch this. Then the Bible says they ate the first one. Then the next day, it was the turn to eat the other one. And the mother said, no. And the woman said, no, you ate my child. Listen, while that confusion was happening, the king started passing and they went. They said, king, you can't leave us like this. And when all of that happened, the king said, look for Elisha for me. Look for Elisha for me because he had that Elijah program farming. He said, I'm sure Elisha has a hand in this trouble. Go and look for this. This, this guy was mentored by the troublemaker of Israel. Go and look for Elisha. Watch this. While all of this suffering was happening, the Bible says Elisha and the sons of the prophet were, he didn't say they were hungry. When he saw the king coming, he said, this son of a murderer wants to now come and kill me. Or are you push to stop him? And because of that, he said, okay, now he's called my attention. Let me casually do something about what is killing a nation. By this time, Kabakoto Sakataya, by this time, tomorrow, by this time tomorrow listen it didn't tell you how it will happen if you understand the superiority of the realm of the spirit you will never ask how results manifest you see let me tell you something when people argue and say how did this thing happen they are not wise the raw materials that create the earth are resident within the realm of the spirit he said by this time tomorrow by this time I'm hurrying up. I would have given you scriptures, but I really want us to pray. That by this time tomorrow, they uh, please help them. This will cause this and that. And then a foolish man, like many doubters that insult men of God, he said, what are you saying? I, I mean, I'm the minister of this and that. I read this and that. Even if the windows, AJ, he knew that much that heaven had a window. With what did they build the window? He never asked. If God will open the window, will these things be? And the prophet said me, you will see it all. But they will kill you in front of that breakthrough. Then look at how the miracle happened. The prophecy had been programmed in the spirit. Now it is up to the word. This is where the wisdom of God starts. It starts searching for scenarios in the earth that can bring what is in the spirit to manifest. Are you seeing how prophecy comes to pass? Watch this. Look at this. Let me teach you something. Watch this. Look at me and learn. If I prophesy to you, Emeka, and say by tomorrow, if it is really by the spirit, I say by tomorrow, money is coming to your account. I have placed that word in the spirit. Hold on. The word manifests by the wisdom of the spirit. Let me tell you what the wisdom of the spirit is. It will start searching the earth to look for the scenario on earth that is capable of bringing that word down. Then connect it to the individual. Listen. The wisdom of God will move to a rich man. If it's not open, it will move to somebody who God had instructed to so If he will keep moving like that, that's how the anointing got to Mary to be the mother of Jesus. The Bible never said the name of the mother of Jesus will be Mary. The prophecy started searching for a virgin. When he found one and she said, I'm available, he brought her out.
Listen. There are too many activities on earth that can mirror what is happening in the heavens for God to be bankrupt in terms of manifestation. When God says, I want to bless you, Koi is already speaking to millions of people to sow. It's just that he has not told them who to sow. The wisdom of God can just connect one of them. You see how prophecy works. I'm helping your faith so that when God says, I will do this, you now sit with your limited mind and say, I only know Uncle A and B. And I already know A promise you will never see me. And God is saying, no, we are talking about the wisdom of the creator. Look at what happened. Four lepers. Everybody say four lepers. Four lepers were sitting quietly. And the wisdom of God, the spirit of wisdom. Because the word of God must come to pass. The man of God had declared it. And the, the anointing came on the lepers. They thought they were just tired. But they didn't know that at that point, they were under the influence of a man of God. And the word started programming that result. They say, why sit here till we die? Even that talk was by the spirit. They thought they were gisting. And they said, look, let's just get up and go to the camp of our enemies. And tell them, kill us, but let's eat first. The Bible says the moment they began to go, God changed their people. They began to hear the sounds of chariots. And all of them, listen, were they not warriors? Is it not fight they fought to get those things? Couldn't they fight again? When God wants to bless you, he will move your enemy in a way that you will not even know how things happen. I know I should not graduate, but there is a mystery that can be programmed. A man is watching your result. 37 over 50. You need 50. Something comes on him and he, and he does not even know. Listen. Listen. People, some people hear the testimony of some of our, some of the people who wrote jam here. That jam changes from 100 and something to 2 and you hear them talking nonsense. Talking stupid things and saying how can it happen? And I said look, look at this foolishness. How does a boil come out of your stomach where did the mass accumulate from that projected out did any part of your body reduce for it to come out did he ask where it came from then when it disappears you say where did it go to you see how we think son of man can these bones live again immediately oh not after 10 years not gradually can these bones live again he said god i've seen many miracles but i've not seen this type that a dry bone is not like a dead human being i believe in raising the dead but dry bones and he said okay i want to show you something that when i show up i compress time and make things happen and he said prophesy prophesy and things began to shift listen it is too late when mysteries have been programmed in the spirit. Take it from me. The moment a man programs something in the spirit, you better find a way of countering it in the spirit. Otherwise, it must manifest. <laughs> this is what Habalists do. They conjure things. They conjure spirits. And then they tell the person, go, it is done. At the point they said, go, it is done. He didn't feel anything. Oh. Go. We shall be, we put your husband in a bottle. And you saw it. Go, it is done. The woman will go home and still see her arrogant husband come back. And she'll be laughing. He's already in a bottle. Two days later, physical things start happening in the earth. To force him to confirm to what has been programmed. After one week. The man becomes a toy to her because the realm of the spirit must. So you look at a woman who is barren. It may look like you just touched her stomach, but it's more than that. Mysteries were programmed in the spirit. He said, how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man? He says, the power of the highest. Brothers and sisters, I came to prophesy to someone. It will be a quick walk. Oh, it will be a quick walk. It will be a quick walk. I tell you, except it's not the God. I told you that the remaining services, don't miss them. They will be, help them please. They will be strongly prophetic services. St
strongly prophetic services it will be a quick walk there is a mystery that can push men false prophecy push men it is possible that in one day something can happen to you and you will turn and say God I'm sorry for doubting you when it was time for the animals to enter the ark of Noah he didn't call one of them something was manipulated in the spirit all the animals started lining up regardless of their hostilities they lined up and came quietly listen let me tell you something the day I learned the vanity of the physical realm compared to the spiritual realm I stopped wasting my time about physical things trust me I really mean it I saw how helpless the physical realm is that a body without a spirit is dead I stopped wasting my time those who do business do it in the spirit realm they program things in the spirit realm and just watch like strangers how things manifest you program favor and you come and see strangers bringing blessings and people say how is it happening You see what is happening in this ministry submit to you it was programmed it's not a coincidence something took you from where you were and brought you here it's not just that you like a man no it's a mystery that is the same thing that will put a baby in the barren womb it's not when a man meets his wife that she gets pregnant to a man meets his wife to give the child physical form. Do you believe what I'm saying? Because let me tell you something. One of the things we are going to do tonight is to change some things. There are results that are wrong. Something programmed it. It may be our ignorance. It may be something. I bring you a message of hope. The realm of the spirit is still there. That means there is still an ability to access it. Please sit down. I'm just trying to compose myself. My spirit is boiling this night. Listen. Listen. I have experimented this thing too many times. Too many times. Too many times. You can program favor. You can program breakthrough. Listen, you can program judgment on the wicked. You can program speed. The word of God is an instrument of creation. You can create realities that were not there. When you hear people testify, it's not like the testimony was waiting somewhere. A word created it. When you are programming mysteries, you don't attach a face to it. The wisdom of God will create the actors of that mystery in the physical realm you don't say god bless me through my uncle uh -uh. i have access the principles that brings a blessing it is god that will start sourcing for the men that will act the movie that will bring your breakthrough he can use a donkey he can use stone it doesn't matter the most important thing is that let it come Are we together? Yes. I tell you, believe me, brothers and sisters, when I tell you there are more angels on this ground than people sitting. There are more angels, angelic presence. I don't know if it's because of what I'm teaching tonight, but I prayed for strange intervention, angelic interventions, and the Lord is just opening my eyes, and I'm seeing that there are numerous angels battalions of angels every time God opens do you know why when I speak like this people start manifesting under the anointing because you see when you are open to the realm of the spirit portal is created immediately do you understand and when that portal is created there must be an effect remember when Paul Saul now saw Jesus those there did not see but there was an effect from the realm of the spirit I'm explaining it because it's nothing strange but I stand and I see angels inside outside like this i'm even on that fence you are seeing i'm seeing all kinds of things happening 
and this is by the power of the spirit i believe that not all the angels are the same they are according to their ranking and their functions according to what kind of intervention must manifest because see our challenges are not the same i know some of you may not have issues but let me tell you there are people the issues you have require recovery restoration judgment on somebody so there are angels that are allocated for that kind of thing was he not an angel that used hailstone and killed hundreds of thousands of people overnight please help them Mandekatos, I release angels, strange ministry of intervention. Brakoto soto ketabarata, zegetekata, by the authority of the Most High, angelic interventions over lives and families. It must end tonight. In the name of Jesus, is the year of triumph. It must end tonight. Skapatakatos. Zeketekete, zekete, reketo koso pariata, epo shabababababa, manda kato sakata, thou shall arise, thou shall arise, thou shall arise, and have mercy upon Zion. Thou shall arise. God is arising over a family. God is arising over a family. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. You see, Ba, when you come before God's presence, the Bible tells us that upon Mount Zion many things happen. The innumerable company of angels. These things are not fables. The Bible is not a book for religious people. It is life. It is true. It is our own belief that has made it look like a storybook. That you come to his presence and there is a strange intervention. I say it again in the name of Jesus. As I begin to teach, I've not finished. But in Jesus name, I release the ministry of angels. I release the ministry of angels that whilst the teaching is going on let intervention start in the name of Jesus Christ strange interventions strange interventions please sit down if you can please help those outside very quickly I will give us four keys Let's use 10 minutes. Sorry, I will not be explaining it in depth. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I feel the spirit of prayer here. There are four keys to provoking divine intervention. Every time you are in a situation where you need the help of heaven urgently, do these four things. And you will change the tides in a way that will surprise you. Listen, brothers and sisters, as you learn these mysteries, please use them. Don't be too big to use them. Be childlike and apply them. You will be surprised. These are not cunningly divine fables. These are things that I do myself. They are not necessarily things I'm just telling you just for, for you know, just the sake of it. The first thing to do when you are in need of strange intervention is engage in the ministry of prayer.
Number one, please quickly, prayer. I will give you two scriptures and then we will we'll be able to look at two. Write it down, please. Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11 talks about Peter. Don't, don't project it. I just want to hurry up. In Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11, the Bible tells us how that James was caught by Herod. He was beheaded. And when it pleased the Jews, he now caught Peter and locked him. And then the Bible says the brethren began to pray. Whilst they began to pray, an angel came into the prison, brought Peter out. Peter even thought he was having a vision until he took him out and then Peter was free. We see that prayer was part of the instruments that were used, was used to bring strange and divine intervention. Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11. Please write this down. Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 to 34. It's a long reading. Don't project it. Just write it down. Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 to 34. This was um, a scenario where Paul casted out the demon from the lady that was using divination to prophesy. And then the people got angry and they mobbed them, you know, and then the Bible says that they chained them and they were kept under the custody of a jailer. Then the Bible says Paul and Silas prayed and they sang and the Bible says everyone in the prison had them. All of a sudden there was an earthquake. And then the Bible says the things broke and all doors open. I like that. All doors. It didn't say some doors. When the chain broke, all doors. The doors of the prison of other people connected to them also open. All doors open. Prayer can open doors. James chapter 5 verse 13. Maybe you can project that. He said, is any of you afflicted? Let him pray. Prayer is the... Re biblical recommendation for affliction if any of you afflicted he said let him pray so whenever you are afflicted the key is to pray you may not know what to do i'm teaching you what to do now but regardless of what the situation is pray especially engaging in the spirit the most the most sound way to engage warfare prayers especially is to pray in the spirit first as you pray in the spirit the holy spirit begins to construct the scriptures in your mind you will not utter them just as words you will utter them as prophecies that's what we live to bring the result so the first key is not just to start talking uh, you take out time and pray in the spirit that's why it is important to be filled with the holy ghost with a clear evidence of praying in tongues it's not a phenomenon for pentecostals there is a dimension of victory you will never be able to command are we blessed is any among you afflicted has any of you received a bad report has any of you been told that you have so 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 time to live has any strange spirit appeared to anybody and said you will not see Christmas. So when others are rejoicing, don't join them. The key is not to get up and cry. Has any stranger come to you while you sleep and try to molest you? And you just got up and said, this thing has come again. No, sir. Has the door foreclosed towards you? So the people who used to help you suddenly have changed. The people who used to like you suddenly have changed. The doors that used to bring you blessings have changed. Something is suddenly happening to your spiritual life. Prayer zero. Word life zero. You need an intervention. Prayer. The scripture I want us to read now is Psalms 18. Never forget this scripture. It's one of the arsenals that I have for my personal. Um, it's a scripture that has blessed me. I have prayed this scripture. If, if this scripture was a shook. By now, I would have, maybe the soul would have eaten into pieces. I'm giving you a piece of my secret place. Psalm 18. Don't ever forget that scripture. Don't ever forget it for as long as you live. If you are a leader going far, this is a chief tool that you need. We're going to read from verse 1 to 6. Then I'll pick for you the verses we're reading. It's a long verse. Ready? Please give it to us. 1 to 6. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Listen, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord 
I will do what? Call upon the Lord in prayer who is worthy to be praised. So by calling upon him shall I be saved from my enemies. Verse 4. The sorrows of death compass me. This is a man in trouble. And the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compass me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, hallelujah, I didn't discuss it with people who cannot help me. I called upon the Lord and cried upon unto my God. He heard my voice from out of his temple and my cry came before him even to where? Even to his ears. There is a kind of cry that enters the ears of the mighty God. Let's jump to verse 14, then to 17, then 40 to 45. It's a quick reading. Verse 14. Yea, he sent out his arrows. God has arrows. So, hey, look up. I learned this. I was checking arrows. You know, arrows that fly by day. And then I found out that it's not only the devil. God, the Bible says, yea, this is him intervening for me. These are part of the forces from his cabinet of judgment that he can release he says he sent out his arrows and scattered them and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them 17 please give us 17 he delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me for they were too strong for me Verse 40. Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemy that I may destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. 42. We are really reading to 48. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind and did cast them out of the dirt in their streets. 43. Oh dear, media. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of my people, and thou hast made me the head of the hidden. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. Pastor, you need this for your ministry. Oh. When you open a branch in a locality that you don't know, there are people who need to come and as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves to me. 45. Verse 45. The strangers shall shake, fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Now, 47 to 48 is a scripture I don't want you to ever forget. Ready? Go ahead. Give us, well, go to 47. Go to 47. It is God that avenged me. And subdued the people under me. Who did it? Who did it? He says it is God that avenged me. And subdued the people under me. 48. He delivered me from my enemies. Yea, thou lifted me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Divine intervention. As a man of God, there are wicked forces day and night to destroy you. As a leader, there are wicked forces. But when you catch this and catch the revelation, you will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And the Lord will be with you mysteriously. You will not travel and sit down and be shaking. Will a car jam me? Will it break my leg? Will it break my head? No, sir. Rest and quietness on the strength of scripture. Everybody say prayer. We need to learn how to call upon the Lord. Listen, do you know most people don't know how to call upon the Lord. They know how to lament. Hey, oh, you are not calling upon the Lord. You are shouting a lamentation, a, a strategy for lamentation that you inherited. He said unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul? Oh my God, let me not be ashamed, though. Let not my enemies triumph over me. There is a way you can pray with God. Sometimes like Anna, you can't even shout. It's not something. You, you just lie down and say, oh God, 
oh God, deliver me from the shame of the wicked. There are enemies that are waiting to see you fail so that it will be their prophecy fulfilled. Lord, confound their, their counsel. And God will say, it got to my ear. I had it. I'm on my way coming. Prayer. Number two. The second key when you want to activate the mystery of divine intervention is to engage praise with understanding. Praise. Praise. Praise as an instrument of warfare and praise as an instrument of faith. Praise as an instrument of warfare but that you are blessing him in advance. Listen. This revelation is fast becoming a national anthem in the body of Christ. People are suddenly coming to the realization that praise can work wonders. You know, people don't know why the presence of God is still mighty in Africa. It's because Africa is a praising continent. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They laugh at us and think that when we are dancing, it's nonsense. Praise is a mystery. You want to turn around your situation? No matter what you do, if you have not praised, there is no Lord. Believe me. Lord, give us understanding. Psalm 22 verse 3. It says, Thou art holy, thou that inhabitest the praise of Zion. God makes the praise of men his habitation. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Joshua Selman listen i've taught us how to praise you don't praise god without dancing that that is nonsense you are you are singing a national anthem it's when you are reciting national anthem that you stand and put your hand on your chest moving your body is not a sign of it's not you are not you have problems you can cry but still praise are we together is this is a it's a powerful mystery i want you to learn Our father, Bishop David Oedeko, when he almost had a few weeks ago, he almost had a plane crash that would have taken his life. As soon as that happened, they declared praise. I said, oh dear, spiritual intelligence. Let me tell you what other people would have done. They would have organized a cocktail party and said, you know, we, and the devil said, That's, I'm coming back. Praise. Praise is one of the most powerful ways to disgrace the devil. Because you see, let me tell you, one of depression is the absence of laughter and joy satan uses when people are about to die there are few people who die smiling most people are depressed then they keep quiet he says that the joy of the lord shall be your strength so when there is no joy your spirit becomes broken and the bible says a broken spirit dryeth the bones You don't praise God when things are going well. You praise God to make them go well. Listen, you don't praise God when, when things are going well and you praise God. It's called thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the dance you give and the testimony you give when things have manifested. But before they manifested, it's called perfected praise. Praise with understanding. Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my praise. Lord, you are so good. You are exalted as the Lord most high. Hold on. Listen. Let me tell you what Satan will tell you. The moment you sing that, he will tell you, is it not your sister that just died? Is it not five carryovers we are seeing? Or oh God, did they not just sack you? The gentleman that has been promising to marry you is he not by 8 a.m. this morning he says not doing again the devil brings it because he knows you see satan knows that we function in the realm of the flesh the senses are we together now so he brings things that resonate with your senses when you see them you are now depressed but that's the time anytime you are praising god Satan says, why are you praising him? He says, no reason. I'm praising him to create my testimony. You see that? 
listen corporate dancing and praising is good but you must learn to do this thing alone if it means you trusting God to get one small room for yourself for the purpose of praise is what it all is what it reserve the 40,000 for shoes and use it to pay for a small room put worship wake up in the night because there is personally me I don't have time to do that dance and praise in the afternoon all kinds of calls distracting in the night oh dear oh dear ask God what I do in the night yes yes sometimes I carry koinonia documents drop it on the ground dance before it and shame the devil I carry my phone put it there not dancing before them I say Lord you are great I dance before you people are coming from everywhere rain or no rain publicity or no publicity and God says you are doing this for me I said Lord who else will I do it for and you are celebrating him Lord you are faithful and you are worshipping him you are sweating like a fool and while you are doing that God is dispatching angels okay make sure you wake that guy to transfer money to his account that hundred thousand I gave you I didn't tell you who to send it to send it to him oh his mother is at home for giving birth to him, send an angel there too. And my innocent mother is lying down. She'll wake up in the morning and say, Mama, where are you? Say, who are you? Say, just come. Take my praise. This our big manism has cheated us beyond imagination. This pride that you don't have results and you are still talking. You know, ah, I, how can, okay, I agree that you can't, you think I can dance? Look at me. You think, no, 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 God, I don't have that gift of dancing. It's not a competition. This is your destiny. This is breakthrough. If a thief puts a gun and says you should dance, won't you do something? Some of us, when we were in the world, you know the kind of dance, demonic, satanic dance that you did for the devil for free that destroyed you. You got drunk dancing it. A spirit entered you dancing it. I'm not saying you should dance all kinds of nonsense dance in the house of God, but I'm saying there, there are times you need to learn to sing and dance alone. With, listen, listen. Most people dance. You can turn your dancing time to a nightclub and God will look at you and say you are wasting your time. It is the revelation that makes the singing and the dancing profitable. Don't just move your body around just because you are happy. That, that's, that's entertainment. Brothers and sisters, there is the kind of dance that you dance with tears in your eyes. But you are doing it with understanding. Don't think you will only always be laughing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. No job for you. No job for your wife. No job for your five children. They are all graduates. You have prayed oh, Nothing happened. Brothers and sisters, try singing and celebrating God. Everyone in their room rejoicing. Jesus, you are full and you are just dancing. Let me tell you what will happen. The Lord will start bringing testimonies. Remember when a cow would have killed you in 1995 and you say, Lord, I remember how, and you start dancing it. You are, you are compressing doubt because something is about to be created. You will dance and dance till you fall under the anointing there and get up and clean yourself and be tired and sleep and wake up and drag yourself. Brothers and sisters, you have programmed something in the spirit. You will get up in the morning and just dress and say, Father, thank you. And get a phone call. Who is this? I'm seeing a document that has been here four years on my table. Who are you? So I finished for what did you read? Anyway, it's not what you read. Where are you? Come quickly. I like you. Ha! You just know that praise is working. Praise is working. Let the people praise me. Psalm 67, verse 5 to 7. Let the people praise me. It's an instruction. The earth has been programmed to deliver certain results, but let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 6. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our God, shall bless us. You can stop there. 
Zephaniah. It may be difficult for some of us to find, but just write. Media, please give it to us. Zephaniah chapter 3. Let's read 14 to 20. I hope we can just quickly hurry up. Zephaniah chapter 3. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 14. We're reading to verse 20. Listen. It says, sing, O daughter of Zion. It's not talking about a lady. It's talking about human beings. You must read the Bible prophetically. When he says daughter, find out what he means. There are times in the Bible all people are sons. There are times all people are daughters. Are we together? So don't think he's talking to ladies. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all the heart. O daughter of Jerusalem. We are reading to verse 20. The Lord had taken away thy judgments. And has cast out thine enemy, the king of Israel. Even the Lord is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, fear thou not. And to Zion, let not thine hands be slack. We are reading to verse 20. Give us 17. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with what? Singing. Singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly. Who are of thee. To whom the reproach of it was a burden. Verse 19. Behold at that time. I will undo all that afflict thee. And I will save her that halted. And gather her that was driven out. I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Hmm. At that time, I will bring you again. Even in the time that I will gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, say the Lord. You read that scripture and say, Lord, whether you understand it or not, I am dancing with this revelation that you are turning something. I can see everything. Hey, hey. Do you see everything? I can see everything. One more time. Can see everything turning around. Please sit down. When you go back home, continue. 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 Apostle, I don't have a house. Find a tree. Find somewhere. It is a place that will give you a house, my brother. I'm staying with neighbors. I don't want to disturb them. Find somewhere behind one rock. You don't have to shout and disturb the neighborhood. Just engage in praise. Glorify God. You may be tired, but it's called a sacrifice of praise. Brothers and sisters, do this and see how things will turn in your life. There's nothing the devil can do with someone who is full of joy and glory. This gloominess that you see people tie their face around, it doesn't bring breakthrough. It adds to your sorrow. You loosen up and say, Father, you are faithful. You are tying your face around and people say, why are you? Why should I not tie my face? Or will you pay my rent for me? My brother, it's praise that will pay that rent. So you turn everything and rejoice. Let me tell you what many people will say who see you engaging this. <laughs> I say, don't mind all these men of God. They are turning you people to be stupid. You see that? But when you meet them for rent, they won't give you. If you want God's result, follow his methods. Number three, quickly. The third key to activating the mystery of divine intervention is called seed faith. Say after me, seed faith. Listen, I know that giving has been abused. Listen carefully, please. Outside, online, listen carefully. I know that giving has largely been abused because it has looked like some manipulation and journalists and bloggers have not done justice because they have mixed everything and made it look like giving and sacrifice is some gimmicks to corner money and give a man of God. 
Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Something I do all the time, including today. Every time you are in a situation, listen please. Every time you are in a situation that only God can step in with understanding, haven't prayed, package a seed, speak to that seed and give it an instruction. And sow that seed, release. If you just sow money, it's bribery. It's not the money. Revelation. The Bible is full of the potent power of seed faith. Connecting your faith with a seed and a sacrifice to provoke God's hand for intervention. I've done it countless times on behalf of this ministry. I've done it countless times on behalf of myself, my family, my friends, people I love. Seeds. The seed that is in your hand can create a destiny that will surprise you if you know what to do with it. Please listen to me. Don't think I'm asking you to give me money. No. There are people who when they hear this, they just frown their face. Not at all. Not at all. God has been faithful to me. Are we together? Listen. There are people who have turned their lives around overnight. If there is one thing I know in my little walk with God, is that your seed can bruise the head of the serpent. I promise you. I have seen people quarter to shame everything was against them it was obvious they are finished and they used their seed and turned the hands of life in a way that you cannot imagine my life is full of sacrifices psalm 126 don't turn there verse 1 to 6 you write it that when the lord turned again the captivity of zion he said we were like them that dream. The first six verses. The, la the sixth verse ends by saying, they that sow in tears. The whole verses are connected. Verse six is connected to verse one. God turning away the captivity of Zion like a dream. He says that they that sow in tears will reap in joy. He that weepeth, bearing precious seeds, the Bible says, shall doubtless return, rejoicing, bringing in the sheep. It's not every seed. To be cheerful does not mean to laugh. To be cheerful means that there be a merriment in your heart. There are some times you will cry for the seed you sow. Hallelujah. Someone came over to my place today and the Lord instructed him to bring me a seed. And quite a very serious seed just you know a military officer just came dropped the seed and when i saw it the seed was in dollars I said wow in this recession this seed and the lord told me no 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 make sure you don't touch it this is your seed for something and the lord told me i started dancing i said thank you jesus this is it. when god gives you seed to sow his intervention no getting the seed to sow is an act of god's mercy that you say lord i must provoke this but i have no seed then he gives seed to the sower those who know only know how to eat anything plus their destiny they keep getting bread but those who want to create a future brothers and sisters i have created realities in my life with seeds i believe in the power of a seed listen don't let people because of their cynicism the imbalance when a man creates an imbalance in scripture you don't avoid that truth because it has been abused you bring it to context and teach people brothers and sisters a seed can change your life believe me i have done crazy things in my life i thank god that it's only god that reveals that that is only god that knows the heart of men there are things if i tell you that i have done with seeds some of you you are not related to me but you will be angry you will remove your shoe and stone me with it and say you are very stupid in this recession seeds there was a year i've shared it again and again 
that God gave us an instruction. We were just resuming. Koinonia. And God gave an instruction. He said, so everything, everything, everything. I don't mean small. So everything, let it go. I said, thank you, Jesus. You are ready to lift us. That is revelation. By faith, Abel offered. You offer by faith. You don't offer by, by tricks and all kinds of, no, no, no. And we release it. Brothers and sisters, it didn't reach seven days. Seven days. More than ten times that amount came. Seeds. I'm not saying you should give carelessly, no. But brothers and sisters, the seed that is in your hands can silence a spirit that has destroyed your destiny for years. Nobody is moving forward in your family. You are just sitting down. And God is saying, look, you have to provoke heavens with a sacrifice. One day you get angry and say, Lord, I am tired of this. Anna did not have money to give, but she said, Lord, let's do it. Give me the child. I've given the child already as a seed. And God said, it's a done deal. There was a king in the Bible who they wanted to slaughter and defeat. It was very clear the nation of Israel would defeat them. And he carried his son, his future, and slew the child. The Bible says an indignation rose up to heaven. Battle ended. When God wanted to redeem man, it was an issue of urgency. God carried Jesus, the lamb upon the throne, slew him. Jesus cried and God said, that's not the issue. Man must be saved. This greed over the little we have is what has destroyed us. Get used to money leaving you to go and wait for you in your future. Get used to it. You may not have a seed, but brothers and sisters, let me tell you, there are many ways to give. Money is not the only seed. It's just the seed that can easily be exchanged. That's why. There are times that people have made radical sacrifices. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Principles of divine intervention. Trace your life at the moment where God gave you specific instructions that you did things that almost brought tears from your eyes. And watch what happened. You just did not study it enough to know how to keep it going. I hardly share my testimonies. I stopped because I found out that it annoys a lot of people and I'm not ready to attract unnecessary, um, you know, people once they hear preachers talk, there are people who just get angry just like that. It's nonsense. Brothers and sisters, learn to sow seeds. But the most powerful part of sowing seeds is to give them instructions. This is the mistake many of us have been making. You package a seed. Some of you come and join the line. Apostle, here is a seed I'm sowing. I always ask people, what is this for? And the people say, for nothing, just, I just feel like seeing you. That's a donation. That's a donation, brothers and sisters. All seeds are not the same. There is a seed you give to the poor. There is something it does to you. There is a seed that you give to widows and orphans. There is a kind of result. There is a seed you put on the ground because you are tired of where you are. If the word of God were a lie, I would have died sins because the risk I've taken with this word, it would have killed me sins. But I believe him. I believe him. When I sowed that seed today, I was happy. The joy that filled my heart. I await the testimony that comes from it. Wanting a harvest that you have not scheduled through sowing is a waste of time. It's, imagine now, somebody who didn't go to the farm. He has a land somewhere. He just carries his wife and his children and carries a truck and he goes to an empty place. You will find wheat there. But whoever sowed January, February down to April is smiling right now because he knows it's harvest time. Brothers and sisters, I pray for us. May God kill greed from our life. This attachment to money. Listen, this many people think wealthy people are the ones who are attached to money. It's a lie. Wealthy people in the kingdom.
kingdom have become wealthy because they have conquered it. Your seed is an instrument that creates your future. Hallelujah. Learn to release seeds. Learn to release seeds. Learn to release seeds. I'll never forget a gentleman who sent me a text. He sowed a seed. I remember it was when he sent me the text. Truly speaking, I remember. They sowed seeds and I was opening the envelopes. Most times it takes, it honestly takes a while. Maybe some days before I even open the envelope to see what is there and pray on it. And I opened the envelope and I saw five naira and a letter. The guy said this five naira was his Isaac. I know you will laugh and say, hey, this stupid boy, no. I respected that because that, that thing I knew will create a harvest. And the guy, I opened it and wrote some things like that. And then I just felt led to pray for him. Do you know it didn't reach two weeks? The guy sent me a text and said, I have never in my life seen favor like this. Five naira. It's not about the money. It's about the heart. Somebody was tired of where. How many jobless people have not sown anything and they keep moving around with CV? What must tell you the devil is fighting you? You carry a seed and say, God, please. I'm married with three children. No job. This mockery must end. I drop this and I tie it to my job. And then praise around that seed. Praise around the seed. And your brothers and sisters say, so this is what they are teaching you. This is how these stupid men of God keep eating your money. And all of a sudden, the heaven opens. Breakthrough upon breakthrough. You are praying to buy land. Oh Lord, please give me two million naira to buy land. I now have 150,000. Just top it up for me. And God says, you mustn't buy it. Just learn. Let me show you. And all of a sudden, someone stands up and blesses you. I think it was you, Ejimi, I was showing you. Was it yesterday? I was showing him the documents of a property that was given to me recently. I said, God, what is this? What is this? For as long as you sow, whether you like it or not, the law is that you must reap. So if you have not sown anything, stop, stop saying, God, where is my harvest? And he said, what, what are you saying? A woman who does not take in is she expecting a child no sir no sir she do seasons of breakthrough in your life your seed is a weapon not just your prayer your seed is a weapon your seed is a weapon one mama called me one time i was led by god honestly i felt so i didn't know how to talk to her because she sounded like an elderly woman and she was praying for divine financial intervention i said mama please i want you to sow a seed not to me i i, I would never have the effort to tell that woman to sow into my life i'm sure that woman will be older than my mother i said please try connect with a seed and the woman said she doesn't have anything i say it's not true mama there is something you have what do you do she says she farms yam I say carry four or five tubers of yam. Find any church. I said, which church is close around your area? She said, there's living faith. I said, go there. Find four tubers of yam. Tie it and be praying, singing any song in your language you know while you march to the pastor's, um, uh, what do you call it? The pastor's office. Whether the pastor is eating the yam or not is not his business. Only a stupid man of God resents the seed of a desperate believer. It's not whether you are more than 50% of the things people sow into my life, I don't need it. It's not for me. I recognize what it is. Is God speaking to someone? Seed faith. Learn to connect. Learn to connect. Learn to connect. Learn to connect. In 1 Kings 17, when our time is gone, just write it. We don't have to project it. 1 Kings 17 from verse 7 to 6. From verse 7 to 16. 1 Kings chapter 17, when you read from verse 7 to verse 16. The Bible talks there about Brook Cherith when it dried during the famine. And the Bible says that the Lord told Elijah to go to a place called Zarephath. And he said there was a widow there. 
God wanted to intervene in that widow's life. When the prophet got there, he said, give me water. She was running to go and bring water. And he said, please, and make some bread for me. And the woman said, I'm sorry, man of God. I respect you, but honestly, this is the last one I'm about to eat with my son so that we'll just wait until we die. And the prophet said, no, no. When you give, it does not end. When you give, you extend the life of whatever it is. The prophet was teaching her. He said, make it for me first. In our generation, they say that's a heartless and wicked, devilish prophet. But the moment she did that, the Bible says she lived off what was there until the famine was over. You can change your life. November, December is too short a time. No. November, December is too short a time, brothers and sisters. God can step into your life and do something in your life that you cannot imagine. Don't be surprised that you'll be celebrating New Year in your own house. Whereas right now you don't even have land. I'm talking to believers. Don't be surprised that you can give away up to 5, 10 million by December. Whereas what you have in your account now is not up to 10,000. Listen, I'm not talking nonsense. I'm not stupid. Don't be surprised. That after 10, 20 years that your wife has been buried, that she's going to celebrate New Year two months pregnant. You do every calculation, you know it's not up to two months, but she's two months pregnant. Don't ask where the child came from. That right now, you are not even sure where your certificate is because you are tired, you have thrown it somewhere. But don't be surprised that you will be managing a business by the end of this year. Is it not God we are talking about? Is it not the God of heaven we are talking about? Number four. The fourth key is the power of prophecy. The power of the prophetic. Weapons of supernatural intervention. The power of prophecy. Second Kings chapter 7 verse 1 to 8. We've already discussed it. Just write it down. Second Kings chapter 7 from verse 1 to 8. The story of Elisha in Samaria. And the abundance that came to an entire land because there was a divine intervention by prophecy. Hosea chapter 12 from verse 13. Please give it to us. The Bible says, and by a prophet. Listen carefully. And by a prophet. It says... The Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. How did they come out of Egypt? By a prophet. Not by God. You would think God will say, oh, by me. Yes, it is by God. But the instrument that he used was a prophet. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. Listen. Listen. There are challenges that people go through in life that is totally needless. If only they can locate a genuinely anointed prophet of God. You can come out of a situation overnight. Some battles are totally needless. They are products of pride and ignorance. Take note of these things I'm saying. Pride and ignorance. Some battles are totally needless. There is enough grace and anointing to bail people out of it. A gentleman had been writing, I think it was Wayek or Neko, I can't remember, for over maybe six, seven years. I remember one time he came and he was crying. I didn't even allow him to finish. I said, that's all right. Let me pray for you. It is done. And he just went and the guy testified that truly speaking, he answered nonsense in the exam. Because his brain had, he had stretched the thing, he has passed the age that he should be concentrating to be reading for work. And yet it came out, he had all credits like that. And he said, truly, this is my result. I say, of course it's not your result. God gave you to help you move forward. Of course it's not your result. When other people are celebrating their intelligence, you go to God and say, thank you, this one you gave me. There are things when other people are saying, I got, you turn to God and say, this one came from you. Prophetic intervention. Brothers and sisters, God still has anointed men. Oh. 
Yes. An anointed man is not a man who speaks well. An anointed man is not a man who throws people under the anointing. There are people who are privileged by the election of grace. That God has put ancient, ancient possibilities within them for the sake of the body. Your own price is to believe. They may not look like it, but they carry it. What you have, you have. It was given to you. Are we together? I truly believe that someone tonight, I told us the remaining services for this year will be very strongly prophetic services. And it will start from tonight. Just the five minutes or so we have to pray. And then I speak over your life. When prophecy comes, receive it. Receive it. You can reject it. But you can receive it. Do you know? I listen to every koinonia message. This message now that is being preached. It's not Joshua Selman. This is the man of God teaching. Joshua Selman will listen to the man of God later in the week. And when it's time to prophesy, I will lift my hands and receive and pray in tongues. Otherwise, I will keep blessing and the anointing that came from the throne through me. Through me. I must also receive it by faith. Prayer point number one. Father, I am tired of where I am. I am tired. You are a changer of people's lives. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, I am tired of where I am. Truly speaking. Lord, this year will not end like this. I've not yet seen any notable testimony in my life. And the year is about to end. Oh, God of heaven, arise. Arise. Those online pray. Lord, the favor you said I will walk in. I am yet to see it manifest, and it is November. The prosperity that you said I will walk in. Lord, I believed you. I still believe you. So never say man and honey and an amount. We are desperate people. We want more, more Lord. Lift your voice and pray. We are desperate people. We want more, more Lord. We are desperate people. Want more, more, Lord. We are desperate people. Tired of the status quo. It's gotta be more than this. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. Gotta be more than this. For desperate people do desperate things and we press in it. Gotta be more. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare over every mountain that stands between me and my result. Hear the word of the Lord. Be crushed into pieces. Lift your voice and pray. Shakatoko sote barata. Legete kete 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 kete. In the name of Jesus. Hear the word of the Lord. I speak over every mountain. Mountain of witchcraft. Mountain of delay. I cross you by the God of heaven. Shakata kata kata, shake it, take it, take it, bros, keba rosso toriata. Shera bala bala na masena na malera na maliara bala na bala na bala na bala. Kapoto sote kete kete, ebre kete ko shobara kata. 
Those outside pray. Online pray. I decree and declare. Hear the word of the Lord. Who are down mountain. Before Joshua Selman. I command you become play. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. That every promise. Hanging in the realm of the spirit. I prophesy. By the mystery of divine intercession. You must manifest now. Lift your voice and pray. Find expression. I give you a body. My breakthrough. Find expression. My lifting. Find expression. My advancement. Find expression. I give you a body. Manifest in my life. Find expression. I've seen you in my dreams. I've seen you in my visions. I command you to manifest. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Everything I've lost. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Everything that should not have left me. But was taken away from me. I decree and declare. Return back to my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please be serious. Be serious. Pray. Every relationship that should not have left every finance that should not have left every favor every breakthrough i call you back every access every platform in the name of jesus the son of the living god please lift your hands in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit of God I push you to the next level of your life I push you to the next level of your life and hear me I decree I don't know what stands your way I come tonight in the name of Jesus and I crush it into pieces the same way the Red Sea was divided I command every obstacle to be divided in the name of Jesus. Hear me? Every physical scenario that must be created in the earth realm to force what is in the spirit to find expression, I schedule that event now in the name of Jesus. Hear me, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, what has tied you and limited you. That's how you thought breakthrough will come last year. It didn't come. I declare to you in these two months left, enter your rest. Enter your rest. Enter your rest. Enter your rest. Lift your hands. I want to prophesy over your finances. There is, there is the power to prosper. Listen, there is a grace that helps men prosper. In the name of Jesus, believe me as I pray this prayer for you. By the grace of God who has shown me mercy and grace, I prophesy to you, beginning from this night, favor after favor, strange financial favor, 
I speak it to your life. I speak it to your destiny. I speak it to your life. In the name of Jesus. Any man sitting on your glory. Jacotos Katapatea. In the name of Jesus. I declare the earth opens up tonight and swallows them. The spirit that eats up blessings when it's almost coming to you. It comes to others when it's about your turn. Something cuts you off. This is not for everybody. But I'm prophesying to someone. If your eyes saw it in the spirit. I command your hands to hold it. If you saw it in your dream. I command your hand to hold it. If you saw it in your visions. I command your hand to hold it. There is nothing we can do without you. Jesus, reveal yourself in a mighty way. Let the sick be healed, O oh God. So many people are here trusting God for all kinds of miracles, breakthroughs, marriages, jobs, healings and deliverances. Lord, we thank you for that which you will be doing. Be glorified, be glorified, be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sorry about the congestion um, protocol and ushers. Please walk together to make everything fast. Hallelujah. Before we start the healing session, I just want to do something very quickly. It's Mike's birthday. Come here, Mike. Hallelujah. <laughs> I told him I was going to give him a surprise. Hallelujah. Celebrate him. A lovely music director. Hallelujah. Mike, we love you. God bless you. Stretch your hands and prophesy. Ask the Lord to make him better than he is. Very faithful worker. Pray and bless him. We speak over your destiny in the name of Jesus. You will never be small. We speak over your life. You will do mighty things. Because of you, the worship team will step into a greater dimension. Hallelujah. I hear in my spirit greatness, greatness, greatness. The Lord is bringing you into prophetic seasons of greatness. This new season is a greatness, is a, is a level of greatness and prosperity. You will enter a level of financial prosperity that will surprise you and will surprise all around you. The Lord is determined to do it. Bless his hands, O oh God. May this be so in his life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands. The power of God is strong in this place. Lord we give you praise. Visit us O God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit us by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your healing virtue, let your grace, let everything that you have, let the dense weight of your person come upon us in mighty ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, my God, help me. Just play the keyboard for me. And then let's trust God for a great time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight's meeting in a very strange way. Instrumentalist, let's work together now. 
Hallelujah. Please hurry up as soon as you get down your name. Just return. There will be a very mighty impartation in this place. Hallelujah. Not deliverance, impartation. God is going to be moving in a very strong way and is going to be bringing strong impartation upon people. It's going to be a wildfire of the spirit. Hallelujah. Strings, please. Exalted high above the worship of the people of the year. I see the Lord. I see. He's the lamb upon the throne. Please, everyone, lift your hands inside and outside. Lift it as high as you can lift it. Lift your hands. Listen, listen, please. The Spirit of God is in this place. Hallelujah. And the angels of the Lord, please don't stop playing are in this place this is a very very prophetic moment now the lord is going to be moving from inside and outside and he's going to be separating certain people this is not deliverance although that can happen this is a heavy impartation the weight of god is about to mantle people in very strong ways hallelujah please lift your hands Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, all those who belong to this category, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. My God, Lord, at the count of three, let there be a wild move of the Spirit. One, two, three, shekete, rekete, teketa, no kete. Lekete rebos outside. Bring them out. Bring them out. Touch an impartation of fire. Let there be a separation. Separate them, O God. Separate them, O God. Outside. The power of God is falling now. Outside. is hitting men right now. Like a tornado outside, outside. There are angels outside. The power of God is falling like a wildfire. A separation, a separation. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. It's a separation, a wild fire. Let it engulf them, oh God. Let it burn. Let the coal from the throne. Let the coal from the throne. Let it come upon visitors. Lord, those who are visiting in Koinonia, may they take the fire now. May the visitors take the fire now. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are angels outside. I tell you, there is a move of fire all across the first overflow. At the back, the overflow at the back outside. The overflow at the back outside. The fire of God is falling. The overflow at the back outside. The fire of God is falling. Ba 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 
There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. Rising up. Yeah. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. There's an army rising up, come on. There's an army rising up. Yeah. There's an army rising up. Shake it, break it, break it. your hands God is not done yet I told you there will be a visitation listen at the count of three many people will enter visionary experiences right now vision vision one two three take it take it vision vision take it take it vision I open up prophetic realms take it take it Visions, visions, visions. Hey, 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 hey. Step into realms of visions, prophecy, visions, prophecy. I ignite fire. Hallelujah. Visions, visions, visions. Look at me. Look at me. Take it now. Take it. Take it. In this row, an angel is walking in this row. This row now. Now. This row. Take it. 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 Take it now. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising. They are rising up. To break every chain. Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it. Take it now. Goodness. The power of God is strong upon me. A protoscope break it, break it. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Reposcate it. Let the Spirit of God move in power. Break chains. Break the 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 chains. It will break every chain, break every chain, they will break every chain. 
There is a road that the power of God is moving outside. There is a road outside. It will start with a lady. There is a lady right now under the power of God. And it will follow to that road. Open the floodgates of heaven, O God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto prete kete teta. Repete kete tete ba. Som prete kete la ba 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 ba. Let it come like fire. Yeah. Someone, Sarah, Sarah, just leave them. Don't worry. Don't don't scatter what God is. Doing. Hallelujah. God is bringing deliverance to your family. Hold my hands. It ends now. Now, now, now. Be delivered. I cast that devil. Cast that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We will have a visitation tonight. Lift your hands. I want to call spirits that are responsible for marital delay. Every spirit wife, every spirit husband, many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you. Some of you are already out. You came out for impartation. Lift your hands. At the count of three, the fire of the spirit will be separating men. Every devil causing delay in marriage. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Lord, as they shout Jesus, I expose every devil and it leaves them forever. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be free now. Now I call spirits. I call spirits. Marital delay. I call spirits. Every marital delay. I cause you. I open doors of marriages now. Doors of marriage be open. Every spell, every enchantment, every act of divination. Right now, I set you on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire now. I challenge altars. I challenge thrones. I challenge spells. We 
break every chain we break every chain we break every chain we break every chain break every chain break every chain let her go now go let her go now go be free lay your hands on your stomach God is setting you free The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. He's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pick the person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. Yes, with white head tie. My dear, it's time. lift your hands where you are. Visit her now, oh God. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cast that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen. Those of you here, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a wild move of the spirit because I see a lot of demonic oppressions. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let the power of God move. Move right now. Move right now. Move right now. I cause every power. I cause every power. Bring them in. Go now to break every chain. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? At times like this, she does like this is demonic oppression. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Is she okay? She's not okay. Look at me. Hold my hands. Satan. Let her go now. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit tormenting her. Let her go. Let your legs be stretched now. Look at what is happening to the legs. Is the camera watching? Watch this. This is the power of God by itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. 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 Watch this. Look at her deliverance. Out. Out of her now. Out. 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 I return her back to sanity. Every madness out of her now. Excuse me. Every madness out. Out. Never returns. I see an altar on fire. This is what I'm seeing. This is what is responsible. Let me tell you every altar speaking against everyone tonight it will catch fire this night in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you Jesus Liva stand up stand up and follow me stand up by yourself and follow me stand up come follow me 
Stand up, walk. Shake it, shake it, baba, baba. Come, come. Come on, can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Every madness of the devil has to find its way. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Look at look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady. Huh? Look at, are you seeing for meeting? Look at the things that the devil has done. Bastardize this lady's life. Look at me. What's your name? Lesson. What's your name? Lesson. What's your name? Lesson. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say I am fine. She literally ate her mouth and injured it like that. Look at, you can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say I am fine. Say, I'm fine. It never returns to you again. Stretch your hands and say, it's over. This deliverance is over. If there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. The demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. Please take her child. This is, I'm seeing witchcraft. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. People will rise in the family when they get to a point something hits them down and that's the end of it. No matter what happens this is what the Lord is showing you. But the Lord is going to bring deliverance. Please lift your hands because this is I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft. My God and my King let this thing end right now because this thing is not just with you alone it's with your family members. My God let it end now. Let it end now. Even to your husband. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out of her. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Madam, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk. Huh? It's chalk, writing. As in his writing. Is he a teacher? A lecturer. Lecture. He's a lecturer. This is death coming on him. And we have to break it. Are you getting that now? Do you believe it? If you don't believe, I will just leave you before you now turn and say this person. The reason why we say this is because I understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic so everybody that seems to reveal something people just think that ah this person has done this and that are you getting my point now i must not see god must not show me what is happening to our husband for him to be delivered i hope you know that the word of god is potent enough to deliver the person you understand but god does these things as a sign and a wonder hallelujah 
The family is about to be delivered right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. A family is about to be delivered right now. Be delivered now. I'm not speaking. Out! Now! I hear the chains falling. Two of you come. Are you related? Come, come, come. Two of you. Yes. What's your relationship? Eh? Is your boss? You are learning to sew in his place. Don't laugh. I don't mean love relationship. I mean, what's your relationship? Huh? Because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you suddenly. Are you getting my point now? God is just delivering people. Out! Let her go. Uh, ushers, you are still not exempted. Be doing your work and be sensitive. Anything can happen to you. Be doing your work and be very, very... Please, everybody be sensitive. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. You will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. There's witchcraft in your family. Wait. Yes, sir. It's true. There's everybody. It's not like every... This is death. This is delay marriage. Wait now. Calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Try to look at me. Do your best. Do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction. It's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free. A habit is leaving you and a curse is leaving you. You look at me. Do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root. Out! Something's moving, something's changing. See it feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. Over your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up it's time for God to step into your family run and come see I don't need to call you just connect by faith God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase. Mighty increase. Coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage. Broken. Outside. Broken.
this is a cause of hardship in the name of Jesus let her go I release her and her family out out that cause of hardship out the Lord is bringing increase for your father I'm seeing traditional things these are herbal things I'm seeing in a shrine the Lord is taking them away and bringing serious financial increase to your family Lord confirm your word I've spoken as you have shown me let it be confirmed in the name of Jesus this is your baby please give somebody hold the baby hold my hands I take away this garment of shame over your life in the name of Jesus this garment of shame go be set free be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Eunice 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 the Lord is ministering to me a lady called Eunice who is that please if it's your name or someone related we have to save time Eunice Gabriel 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 I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number 221 221 that's the last digit of your phone number 221 who is that you are the one do I know you okay Gabriel okay 221 please if that is yours just come out 221 the last digits 221 please verify don't come and tell us lies here 221 that's what I'm seeing it's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing 221 if that is yours please come on Gabriel can I pray for you stand up please sir what do you do I'm an artist is that the only thing you do final department okay I want to pray for you because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. My name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? He's a man in Kano. What? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. We work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change, it will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out. Why did you stay back? This is what is giving legal access. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm serious with my relationship with you. I make up my mind.
to stop playing games from tonight i'm a genuine child of god women out of his life every spirit of immorality lost and every related thing i cost you be free my god will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in jesus name why are you here why are they here what next eh? all of you are eunice is she married There is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy, it's like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you, nobody cares, nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this in a way. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal. We have to curse it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? You, you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. Hmm? But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. the lord is not even talking about you he's talking about your elder ones i've seen them it's because it's the same thing that is happening there i've taught you people bring out Lord, let it be over now. Lay your hands on my hands. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus, to appoint point unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes what is happening to you is happening to her at the same time to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes it's the same thing that is happening to her Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Shake it, 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 it. outside. I command the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. All the children that have been buried, the blood. Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar, 
against your life catch fire now catch fire now catch fire now bring them out bring them out deliverance every altar the children that have been buried I command the earth share in the word of the Lord I come with an apostolic territorial mantle let there be deliverance massive deliverance now now I'm seeing snakes I'm seeing snakes all kinds of snakes all kinds of snakes this is what I'm seeing they catch fire now they catch fire now every serpent every devil I speak to shrines I speak to altars I speak to covens by the anointing of the spirit for the spirit of the Lord tonight is upon me I challenge you I command an exodus an exodus an exodus you will hear testimonies they will carry the dead bodies of men those who are found they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go I command the vengeance of God let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine let the dagger of God's judgment I command it if I be an apostle of God I command it Hallelujah You have won the victory Come on, lift your hands and worship Hallelujah You have won it all for me You have won Everyone who is sick, lay your hands there right now. For time's sake, we may not have everyone come out, but lay your hands. Something miraculous will happen in this place right now. Wherever you are, lay your hands. Some you're laying your hands, but what is if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands, just lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. The moment I pray for you, the power of God is already healing people right now. Check yourself. The moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you, maybe not everybody, just run out and come and stand here. There will be an explosion of miracles. You must celebrate what God is doing. Who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when my God has not established? Hallelujah. Lay your hands now. And while Jesus was teaching, the power of God was present to heal. The Bible says, and when the even was come. They brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed. Please take it serious. This is a miracle service. We don't fake it in this place. 
a miracle is about to happen as i begin to command please check yourself start doing what you could not do this is the point where your faith is needed hallelujah in the name of jesus the son of the living god and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit and lord i pray right now as i begin to declare i want you to shout a loud amen miracles are already happening in the name of jesus blind eyes be open now blind eyes every eye condition be healed now be healed now every kind of deafness complete or partial deafness be healed now be healed now god is touching people peptic ulcer be healed now be healed now peptic ulcer peptic ulcer you will feel like fire burning on your chest right now that's ulcer being healed god is healing ulcer ulcer you will feel fire burning on your chest ulcer is being healed right now i give you the praise i give you the praise i give you the praise lump in the breast lump in the breast the right breast lump in the right breast is being healed now lump is being healed now i cost that spirit i cost that spirit by the prophetic word this lady is going to start coughing things out she's going to start coughing things out right now she will start coughing things out Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Migraine headache. Every kind of migraine. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. every respiratory condition someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now every respiratory condition heart condition breathing problem i command the spirit leave now leave now those outside make sure you are connecting leave now in the name of jesus There are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach i cause that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil i don't care what medicine says go now 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 irregular period the lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from november last year you don't need to come out from november last year You've only seen your period twice in the name of the lord jesus i restore order to your body now i restore order the power of god is moving to this effect i restore order now now hallelujah please begin to check yourself begin to check yourself a tooth problem has been healed i give you the praise lord a toothache
tooth problem serious tooth problem the lord is healing it right now right now right now right now lord let every healing every healing hallelujah now i really want to conserve time i'm just thinking since pastor jakes is here we can lay hands faster on the sick do i need to call the sick to come out is that a good idea answer now let's work together because i know there are people you are still not satisfied okay please and please if you've been healed just stay back especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time and then a few others if you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of god please come out and line up thank you jesus Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Oh, healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. No, oh, not afraid. Brought, who brought our daddy? He came on his own. He came on his own. What's wrong, sir? Difficult in walking. Difficult in walking. Your leg? What happened, sir? I just feel, one day I just feel like they are past me. I can't weak. Your leg is weak. I'm going to pray for you, daddy. And Jesus will heal you right now. Hold my hand, sir. Don't worry, just sit down. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God will start moving your leg. Lord, thank you for healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You see something happening to your leg? You're feeling something happening to your leg, right? Yes. The power of God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Christ of God. Daddy, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand up. Come, come, come. Help him, help him. This is stroke. This is stroke. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Sir, at the count of three, lift up both of your hands. One, two, three. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. That stroke hand. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Daddy, try walking. Come. Hold my hands. Follow me. Come. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Come. 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 Just turn. Turn. By yourself. Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God giving a miracle. In the name of Jesus, are you seeing the power of God now? Go ahead, Daddy. The devil is a liar. Say. Not only has God healed you, Daddy, God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten, everything the Palma worm has eaten. Because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October. They would have buried you first week of October. This is what the Lord is showing me. But in the name that is above all names, four years, four years now, for four years, this has been. The devil had wanted to destroy you. I'm seeing first week of October. 
they would have buried you but in the name that is above all names the bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the lord but the earth has he given so all earth i forbid you from taking this man's body in the name of jesus he will live long he will live strong and for every one of you praying for him may your family members live long in the name of the lord jesus daddy we are going to walk one more time look at look at he's so excited to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil come and walk again daddy walk hallelujah hallelujah please take him to his seat the lord perfects him in the name of jesus worship him help us let's save him You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time, please. The creator of heaven and earth. will set the whole family free. Kai, this is witchcraft. Acute witchcraft. You know you need a miracle, right? Huh? You came here trusting God. Huh? What did the doctors tell you? Wait now. 
I need to pray for you. Huh? The leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. Touching me all the time. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam, listen. The, I told you he's dead. Where is, where is your husband? husband is dead. Your husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where is your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody, please. Madam, if there is a God, you will return back to this place to testify. I cause cancer now, 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 out of her body by the power of the Holy Ghost. Cancer dies now, together with the leg issue. Your leg will start moving now, supernaturally by itself. Your leg will start moving under the influence of the spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hands Hallelujah. look at this innocent girl look at this girl where's the camera when you look at this girl you see a walking corpse do you understand I'm seeing a coffin in the spirit. They have finished this girl since last year. This girl you are seeing. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said it. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am dead. I am. Father, change this girl's story i bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of jesus christ out now out now out now in the name of jesus I change the story of this family now whatever legal access the devil has over your family we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom therefore we command your exodus now the same thing is happening to someone here exodus now everyone marked for death I command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death I command your exodus now in the name of Jesus. Let's save time. Thank you, Jesus. Free. She's in the hospital. Set her free. In the name of Jesus.
saying she must die who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it he said no witchcraft no enchantment against Jacob shall stand see don't let all this nonsense voice it's when you don't know who you are I think we are going to sing that song chosen generation we need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused worship are you ready now 
give us that song sing anything even if you don't know the fashion just sing the one you know are you ready now time you will sleep here oh. yes, lord. yes lord you are <laughs> mommy be healed every planting that is not of god we uproot it now in the name of the lord jesus be free every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus do you have your prayer request please start submitting it Usher, start getting a prayer request prayer requests are very important they are not a formality if you've not written it now is the time send a text to your loved one and say send it fast there is a God that answers prayers Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say. Yes, he is mighty to say. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Alleluia. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children. All the little children from age 1 to 10. Just 1 to 10. If you are more than 10, keep them. 1 to 10. Please bring them out. 1 to 10. Mothers, if you are tired, give somebody to hold the child and come with it. Please, just hurry up. Let's save time while we collect it. Please, if you are not interested, you can sit back. Please, bring all the children. We must lay hands. Ah, that's a baby. Teach me how to hold her before I strangle the neck of this baby. <laughs> Come and hold the mic for me. Let me do serious business here. The baby has small nose like you. Hold on, baby. We prayed for your arrival. Every barren woman in this place, stand up. Everybody, stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. Every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. God is breaking barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray, I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry, immediately I finish. All those who are trusting God for marriage this year, if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed, immediately after this, march out and stand. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Don't let anybody look. I'm serious. Hold on. If you know you have a lot to do in your destiny you are a hundred level and you just come and march out here please we, we are not playing jamboree here i know there are men of god that do we are acting based on instruction make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the lord praise god all of you stretch your hands it's amazing let me challenge men I don't see any father standing here and I if I remember very well I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man 
fathers, men. Every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Ladies, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please, let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell, name of the Lord Jesus, everything that makes your brain dull, we command that you are not dull. In the name of Jesus Christ, bring her, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, setete pakata la ba 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 ba. Ratete prende ke pele kotosh. Baby, grow in the fear of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, if you know honestly, please don't play games with God here. You know that you are trusting God to settle down maritally in this 2014. Come out and stand here. Please, we are not playing games. I am very, very serious about it. God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. He is a glorious God. God is I know you are a miracle. You are ready to marry this year? Are you joking? Eh? You are standing in for somebody. Okay. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. We are young people, but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined. Are you getting my point now? Now look up. I want to say something very important. Some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages. Hallelujah. Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming. We break it from the realm of the spirit now. May that married man never call you again. I know you have been getting money from him. But the relationship is hereby declared none and void. You must choose to walk in holiness and integrity. Hallelujah. There are people standing here that there are powers and thrones. Please lift your hands. And horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage. You are a very pretty lady. But nobody can look at you. The moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you, something just happens and scatters it. There are some of us, you are guys. You are, you are a hard-working and disciplined person. But the moment any lady comes to you, today she says she's, she's serious. After one week, there are some of you people come and they die. Some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away. But in the name that is above all names. Listen, this is an apostolic ministry. We are not ashamed. The Bible says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom, we will preach it and we will set people free. Lift your hands. You will be very surprised. I said it at the beginning of the year. 
that God told me there will be surprise marriages even people who did not believe and expect listen let me give you a revelation my Bible says male and female he created them what and what did he say female and female did he say male and male that means ladies there is a male counterpart for you you believe that I'm going to pray for the man not a man are you getting me not one man meandering around and you say let me manage time is going no you can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave you cannot manage marriage lift your hands let's first destroy these altars of Baal. see that Ababa. get ready because the power of god is about to shatter spells into pieces father everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the lord jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you one two three right now right now right now i cause it i cause it let them go let them go now i release you now i release you now 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 every spirit sitting on your marital destiny i set it on fire now hallelujah now i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus father your people have come out because they are ready to settle down in the name of jesus whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands may it come upon them now in the name of jesus wherever your husband is if he's walking in this earth right now just like boas located root i call forth your life partner now by prophecy now goodness the power of god is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of jesus i connect you in the realm of the spirit i break every soul tie i break every soul tie i break every covenant stopping you from marriage right here we are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of jesus some of you are ready to marry there's no money god punish the devil in the name of the lord jesus we call forth supply the beds that brought food for elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now go and return with your testimony please rise up everybody pastor jakes please come pastor jakes is going to lead us to pray and prophesy on this request listen friends we have a god that answers prayers there are just few minutes and we'll be out of here hallelujah hallelujah please just stretch forth your hands towards this place and communicate with god get go ahead and pray Father, we pray. Rabala baka shi para gale bondo si para bale brega le 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 boko sa. Raka tada da raba si te bale bondo braga la la baria da raba kasanda raba liga de. Riha tasa para bago dia de bale brega de 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 boko sa ni raba da. In the raka tada ba to para raka de bale brega la la baria raba do baria. Rako to ba ya raka tali ya raba da bale bala. In the brega le le boko braga do bale brega la la bara kada. Raka tali ya raba la la bale ya bale bale. Raka la bale baria da raba da. In the raka tala ba raba tala ba raba da. Raka ta ba ha cha ba raba da. Raka tali ba raba ba 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 ba. In the reke le 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 ba kosi ba la ba da. Raba to salieta ndo ho. Imanga katoja ila barus aliata ndo. Iga boja ila raunda as ila paliendo. Resula Italia rusa ndo ho. Iamba uada wabula ada yondelu. Riamula. Who 
Ruacha kayuna ba Rua duya ya nyambia na Ruma upa uragana Rusi ya na Makondo robo koshika ba Father Lord even as we lift up these prayers before you We ask that the fire of God come Let the fire come from your presence Let it come upon these prayers Lord let it rise like incense to you we release angels of God, angels of God to visit homes, angels of God to visit people in hospitals, angels of finances be released, angels of breakthrough, angels of marriages, angels responsible for salvation, healings for loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we release contracts, we release contracts, we release contracts in the name of Jesus. We speak for it to building projects, let it arise. In the name of Jesus, we speak into dead academics. Let it rise. Dead spiritual lives, let it rise. The grace of God comes upon families. In the blessed name of Jesus, we speak to barren cases, family challenges. In the name of Jesus, it ends. We speak to divorce cases. Aha. Lord, for those trusting you, for you to bring back their loved ones, Fathers, in the name of Jesus, we ask that fathers come back home. In the name of Jesus, we call for missing people. We ask that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the angels of God, bring them back in the blessed name of Jesus. And Lord, we speak right now into the highway. Aha! Lord, for our loved ones traveling right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that the hand of God will be upon them. The Lord will shield them in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory for every prayer point here, Lord. It receives answers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray and the church of God says, Hallelujah! God's servant has prayed, we convert this prayer request to testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please everybody stand. Inside and outside. Please rise. Something must change in your life right now. And Balak told Balaam, he said, go and curse the nation of Israel. And Balaam told him, he said, I have been commanded to bless and this I have done. He said, I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. Scripture said, destroy it not for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not for there is a blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I want you to believe that the word that is about to come forth right now can do something remarkable in your life. We've had testimonies indescribable. This is the moment where breakthrough comes. This is the moment where lots of miracles begin to happen. Please lift your head. Hallelujah. He said, weep not. Thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Thou that did not have a child, he said, For many are the children of the desolate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I come under the apostolic unction and I command receive breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. I command breakthrough now every area of your life breakthrough now receive breakthrough now shake 
day, 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 day. Every limit, every limit, I smash it in the name of Jesus. Whatever has not been working in your life right now, in the name that is above all names, I command it to start working now. Start working now. Every voice speaking against anyone here that every time you want to move forward, there is a voice. Listen, the Bible says, in six things shall he deliver you, Job 5. He said, yes, seven things. He said, in the time of famine, you will laugh and you will shall be delivered from the scorching tongues of men. In the name that is above all names, I command every scorching tongue against your destiny, be silenced now. 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 To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified whatever has stopped your growth whether spiritually or academically the bible says they that dwell in the house of the lord shall flourish in the courts of our god like the cedars of lebanon Will they be fat and flourishing? I command barrenness to be over now. I cause barrenness now. I cause barrenness. Record to secretary. Reports complete to survive. And Jesus said, Every tree that has not been planted by my father hallelujah i shared with you last week on the mysteries of the kingdom that there is the mystery of sleep something happens in the earth when men sleep the bible says while men slept it's not backsliding while they slept an alien came and planted something and went away and people woke up with diseases they did not sleep with in the name of jesus every foreigner in your body and your life that my father has not planted come out of their bodies now come out of their bodies now by the fire of the holy ghost come out of their bodies now hallelujah and the Lord told Moses, he says, see, I have made you a God unto Pharaoh. See, I have made you a God unto Pharaoh. Everything that has oppressed your life and has put you under bondage. Tonight, you rise up above and beyond that challenge now. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah and the sons of the prophet told Elisha he said where we meet with you is too small come let us go beyond the Jordan and the Bible says while they were felling the tree at Jordan the axe head fell and they said alas master for it was borrowed and the prophet said where did it fall and he threw a stick and the axe head began to float I reverse tonight in the name that is above all names every situation over your life that you know only God can change it may that God change it now every situation in your life 
that only God can change. May that God change now. Change it now. Change it now. He said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. And so said among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for them. He said, the Lord has done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O God, as the rivers in the Negev. I pray, let it turn around blessing. Hit somebody right now. Let it turn around blessing. Hit somebody right now. Hallelujah. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. And the Bible says, Esther went in. And when the king saw her, he said, Esther, what would you have me do? Even up to half of my kingdom. Everywhere you need to enter for the next level of your life. Reporto Sotoa. We break protocols tonight and we command that God will take you there. May my God take you there. May my God take you there. Hallelujah. And the man who was crippled from birth, he needed a miracle, but there was no man to help him. And the Bible says some people lifted him and tore the zinc and put him. It's one thing for men to want to help you, but it's another thing for them to vow to help you all the way. I prophesy every destiny helper that is responsible for the next level of your life, career wise, marriage wise, academic wise, I call them into your life now. 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 Hallelujah. The Bible says, Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Genesis 24 verse 1. And Abraham was old and well stricken in age and the Lord had blessed him in all things. How many things? How many things? Every part of your life that is remaining to align with the all things anointing. The Bible says Naaman, 2 Kings 5, was the captain of the Syrian army. He was a mighty man. The Bible says, but he was crippled. I pray every other area of your life that needs the touch of God, let that area of your life receive that divine touch now receive it now receive it now hallelujah the bible says is there hope for a tree although it be cut down it said at the scent of water at the scent of water everything in your life that has gone down that you're asking can god take me back to this level again some of you are asking can i go back to the level of anointing i used to function in again can god take me to that level of grace again my god and your god restores all things for you now the lord most high restores all things now May the peace of God that surpasses all understanding rest and abide with you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And now I pray for you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord lift up his face before you. May he lift up his countenance upon you. And may he give you peace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Give God praise in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. 
and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus I'll see you again bye